Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desrin. Most people call me Des. Feel free to call me whichever if you're new to my channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about preventing stinky locks. It's probably something that we have all feared, we're all worried about, and we all want to know how we can prevent this issue. It's very common for locks to attract smells, dirt, debris, smoke, so you have to really be careful what you're around, what you're putting in your hair, so many different things because there's so many different reasons why your hair can start to develop a smell to it. So these are just going to be my tips on how to prevent stinky locks. Now they're in no special order, I'm just gonna get right into it for y'all. The very first thing I wanna talk about and is like a sure way to know if your hair has a smell to it or not is making sure that your scarves, your bonnets, your lock socks, all of the above, your pillowcases do not smell as well and make sure that they are clean. It is crucial, y'all, like beyond crucial. Whatever you use to wrap your hair with at nighttime, whenever you're taking a nap, if you're just laying down, please make sure that it is clean. If you smell your scarf or your bonnet and it smells like, wash it, please. Like, just wash it. Don't even think twice, just wash it. Or wash them all at the same time. If you keep dirty scarves and bonnets with clean scarves and bonnets i can assure you that those clean scarves and bonnets are going to end up smelling like the dirty ones so just make sure that they're all clean you're washing them regularly and you're not going like weeks and weeks and months without washing whatever you're using to protect your hair at night leroy wants to be in this video too hi my love I guess we're continuing this video with Leroy. So the next thing I want to talk about is using less oil. And now if you're wondering, how can oil produce a smell? Especially if you're using an oil that has fragrance or is scented. He started to bite me, so it's a wrap. <laughs> There's such thing as oil buildup. Just like product buildup, oil can build up in your hair as well. If you're using heavy, thick oils or if you're oiling your scalp a lot like multiple multiple times out of the week almost every single day four to five times out of the week and you're not washing your hair regularly there will be an oil buildup in your hair a severe buildup of oil will only attract more dirt in your hair at that point it's just best to do an apple cider vinegar detox because trying to shampoo oil buildup out of your hair is going to just be a hassle. So just do a detox if you feel like you personally have a severe buildup of oil in your hair. So like I was saying before, to avoid this oil buildup, opt for lightweight oils or oil your hair less often and see if that makes a difference. And make sure when you are oiling your hair, you're mainly focusing on your roots and your scalp. You don't really need to give the length of your hair as much attention as your roots when it comes to applying oil. So keep in mind how much oil exactly you're really using on your hair compared to using just on your scalp. Another reason why your locks may have developed a smell is because you are not fully drying your hair whenever you are wetting it, washing it, moisturizing it, whatever the case may be. Most of the times when someone's hair smells like this, it has like a moldy kind of smell to it, like a mildew, old towel kind of smell to it. And it's not pleasant whatsoever. That is usually because you're washing your hair and then going right to bed without drying your hair at all. It's okay to moisturize your hair at nighttime, that's perfectly fine. But make sure you're actually drying your hair before you lay down, before you wrap it up, you should not be covering your hair when it is damp, wet, doesn't matter, and you should most definitely not be laying on damp or wet hair. Doing something like this over and over and over again can actually cause mold to build up in your hair. So please, please, please make sure you're fully drying your hair, or you always have the option to moisturize or wash your hair at the beginning of the day so you actually have all day for your hair to air dry rather than rushing to do it at nighttime and then you don't have enough time to fully dry your hair. If you don't have a blow dryer, I definitely suggest investing in one 
or if you're like me where you not only do your own hair but you do others as well get a nice red by kiss or con air hardcover hooded dryer y'all it is seriously life-changing it will save you so much time if you're the type of person who would rather moisturize or wash their hair at nighttime i kind of touched upon detoxing when i talked about oil buildup but if you also have product buildup in your hair or any kind of buildup that can also cause your locks to have some sort of smell to them if you've had your locks for a year plus and you have not gotten a detox your locks are in like the teenage stage adult stage even elder stage at this point and you have never received a detox your hair probably smells weird i'm just being honest with you your hair probably has a bit of a smell to it because once you get to the point where your hair has locked and it's been some time and you're just regularly washing your hair you're probably more than likely in need of a detox just to make sure that you're really reaching the center of each lock. That is crucial, y'all, because locks can be very dense, they can be very intricate. So sometimes when we wash our hair, even if we go to a salon or a loctician and have them wash our hair, it may not be the deep cleanse that our hair really needs. So it's perfectly okay if you know you didn't know any of this information. I don't want anyone to be sitting at home feeling bad like they should have known this. I mean, yes, no matter what, when you're doing something where it's a long-term thing, you should be doing research. But I totally understand some people just want to do something and, you know, they're just excited to do it and they just go for it. But this is why you're watching this video, to learn. So I'm glad that you're here. But please, 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 please make sure that you are detoxing at least one to two times a year, depending on the stage of your locks. Detoxing is not something that I recommend for starter locks because it's just not necessary. Your hair has not even gone that long being locked to need a detox unless you started your locks with wax and have been maintaining them with wax then that's a whole different story, then yes, you should definitely detox and get that wax out of your hair before continuing. Anywho, I could probably make a whole separate video about that, but I'm not gonna talk about that right now. But please, 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 please make sure you are detoxing and you have like a one to two time a year schedule for your detoxes. And after your detox is done, you'll notice that the water is probably really murky, cloudy, sometimes even muddy, depending on how long you've had your locks and what your lifestyle is like and the kind of elements that you're around on a regular basis. But that goes to show your hair may not really be as clean as you think and that also shows why detoxes are so important. Along with detoxing, you want to make sure that you're washing your hair properly. And yes, there is a proper way to wash locks. It's always best to use a clarifying shampoo followed by a moisturizing shampoo. Depending on the stage of your hair, you might use conditioner or a leave-in conditioner. It all depends on you and what your preference is, what is best for your hair. But it's also really crucial to open up your roots before washing your hair and making sure that you're rinsing out any debris, any dandruff, any dirt that is still in your hair. And you don't only want to focus just on your scalp and your roots when washing your locks. You also want to make sure that you're squeezing that shampoo and your products into the length of your hair as well. Just allowing the water to run past your locks and the soap to run past your locks is not going to clean your hair. You really have to get in there and squeeze the dirt out of your hair and make sure that you're really cleaning your locks. Shampooing your hair one time, two times probably won't be enough depending on how long you go between washes. My recommendations are usually two to three times, like I said, depending on how long you go and what your lifestyle is like. The very first wash that you do with your hair does not cleanse the hair. It only loosens and lifts any dirt or buildup. The second shampoo is what really cleanses the hair. So two times is the minimum, y'all. The minimum. Not one time. Two times is the minimum, okay? And if you have longer locks, you really want to make sure that you're taking time to not only squeeze the product into your locks, but also take time to fully rinse the product out as well. Because any product that is left behind that is stuck in your locks can still eventually cause buildup and cause a smell. So it's not only important to focus just on your roots and your scalp, 
but the rest of your hair too. The last tip that I have to avoid stinky locks is to keep your hair wrapped up as much as possible. As much as possible. Especially just going outside, if you're around people that smoke cigarettes, if you smoke cigarettes, if you smoke weed, whatever you smoke, whatever aromas you have going on are going to attach to your locks. So please keep that in mind if you don't want to walk around smelling like a cigarette, if you don't want to walk around smelling like weed, keep your hair wrapped up and I promise you, you will notice a huge, huge, huge difference. Or have you ever noticed like if you're at like a campfire and you've been outside all day at like an amusement park and you come home and you smell your hair and you just smell like the outdoors? Yeah, it's not a pleasant smell. And it's not fun, especially if you just had a fresh retwist or if you already washed your hair and you really don't feel like having to wash it again. And now you're walking around with stinky hair. So it's really best to just keep your hair wrapped up when you can to also avoid having a foul stench rise from your head. That's all that I have to say. If you guys yourselves have any ideas, tips, or opinions on avoiding stinky hair, stinky locks in general, of course, drop them down below. And that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.